I know it's not easy to kind of reflect on things right now, but I mean, 30 years old, you're, you're, you're getting your first chance to start an NHL playoff game after everything you've been through. I mean, how did you get to this point? Like, what changed? What clicked? Was it just opportunity meeting you were playing at your best at the same time? Yeah, it's funny. Uh, you know, I've had the chance to kind of look back uh, a little bit. Um, it, it, yeah, it's been uh, it's been quite the ride. It hasn't been easy. I mean, there's been times where, you know, there's been some doubt. Um, I've always had a lot of belief in myself. I know my family has had a lot of belief in me and my friends. Um, but yeah, there were some trying times for yeah. sure. I mean, I look at uh, my time up in Montreal, especially during that bubble where I wasn't playing. I was uh, essentially just trying to find some sort of ice on the sheet where I can just work on my game. Um, and then, you know, I think a lot of it comes down to opportunity. I think I've had a great opportunity this year. And, you know, obviously having my first full year up in the NHL last year, uh, the Capitals showed a lot of faith in me. Um, but, like, do I think I could be doing what I did this year at age 25? I, I don't know. I think, you know, I... I think a lot of uh, just what I've gone through has prepared mm -hmm. me for mm -hmm. kind of this season. Um, I feel like, you know, I'm not nervous going into games. I have a lot of faith in myself, and um, I think that comes with experience and, and confidence. And um, obviously, I, I feel at home uh, here in D.C., and I think that's a, a big part, too. And uh, I just have a lot of respect for, for my teammates. I think we have an unbelievable staff here. Uh, you know, my wife and I, we love living in, in the D.C. area and yeah. uh, love playing at Capital One. And, you know, I just think all the uh, the stars have kind of aligned at the right time for me. And I'm 30 years old. To be quite honest, I feel like I'm 20 years old still, honestly. Low mileage, I'm, right? Uh, low mileage, yeah. and not a lot of tread on the tire. You know, I I feel like I got a lot of, a lot of hockey left, and I still feel like my best hockey is still in front of me. And, um, yeah, I feel like I've been very blessed with uh, a great opportunity this season. Unlike you and me, we're both high mileage <laughs> models, so that's a little bit of a different deal. I want to drill down a little bit more on that just because this is – You've had a career where nothing was ever given to you. Mm -hmm. You had to earn everything you got. And mm -hmm. you mentioned some of the struggles in Montreal. You went to St. Louis. You played great. You got called up. Your numbers were outstanding. And uh, they wanted to do something else. Mm -hmm. there, was there at any point that you thought that maybe this wasn't going to happen as you come now into this, as he said? You're playing as the guy who mm -hmm. everyone's talking about. And you're stepping between the pipes and leading a team into the Stanley Cup playoffs. Mm -hmm. How much doubt was there that I may never get this opportunity? Yeah, again, I think there was there was more of that doubt in that uh, that COVID year. Um, and again, it's it, it was a tough situation because, you know, there was two guys in front of me. I, I wasn't playing at all. Um, and, and obviously it's tough if you're not playing, you know, other teams aren't aren't seeing your your product. And so um, that was a tough situation. Um, you know, not even talking about what was going on outside the rink, uh, just in terms of, you know, the living situation and just yeah. what was going on with COVID. It was just a tough, tough deal. So I think, you know, when I look at myself in, in 2020, um, there certainly was was more doubt there, but I still kept on working and I. I I think my mindset kind of changed when um, I had so much focus on on wanting to be the best goalie in the world. Uh, that's just kind of how I was raised, I think. I'm just very competitive. Um, and my mindset kind of changed to just being, I wanted to be the best Charlie Linger that I can be. And I think when you change change your mindset and, and that becomes your focus, at the end of the day, you, you just do everything you can do to be the best version of yourself. And I think, you know, I, I've try to do that my whole career. I've always been someone that's worked extremely hard. I love the game of hockey. I love playing goalie and um, you know, so so I always felt like once I did get that, that opportunity, I had to seize the moment. Um, and I think for, throughout my career I, I've, I've done that um, for the most part and uh, I love playing in big game situations and um, again, I'm very thankful that the Capitals after uh, what I did in St. Louis, they took notice and, and they put confidence and, and trust in me to, to sign me to a three-year deal.